Hello and welcome to this uh, next stage in our tutorial. So we were just finishing off, uh, we just worked on these rather poorly designed boots. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to move on in this tutorial and work on um, the hand area and sort of like a, a pair of um, mittens. Uh, before I do that though, I just want to finish off a tiny bit here with the boot. Um, so I'm just going to turn that off there and same on this side and I'm going to go to edge and bridge edge loop and then uh, fill in these last ones here. We do need to um, put faces on these. Uh, again just and we've talked about this in class just um, you're going to need um, uh, all the faces closed if we're going to 3d print it so i'm going to add one or two loop cuts here just to give it a sharper edge so control or and then this will give me the the base of it a sharper edge and if i do that there this sort of rim area will be a bit more defined well, again we can come back and uh, put more detail into these things a bit later um, okay, so mittens. So first of all, let's go to edit mode here. Select that loop and go Shift S, and then cursor to select it. Um, and so when we add in a new object, it will be added here. So seven. Uh, so we're looking from top bar to graphic. Shift A, and we're going to add a. Uh, let's add a cube which is very big, so I'll press S, scale it down, and we'll rename the cube uh, Glove. Now, in reality, what we'll be doing here is making a mitten, because we don't want to make individual fingers, it'll just be too difficult to print. Now, maybe in a later version of this model, when we're actually making it for um, our game, <clears throat> we'll uh, include uh, more detail. But for now, we're just going to um, make a mitten. Uh, or kind of a glove-like mitten. So I'm going to uh, go into edit mode here, and I'm going to subdivide this. Um, now, where is my subdivide tool over here? I know I can go. Um, it'll. Uh, I am still struggling with. Uh, <laughs> the position of all of the new tools and what menus they've decided to put things in. Um, interesting. So uh, let's see if we can find subdivide here. So it's unlikely to be under knife or extrude or spin or edge slide. Um, no. So Subdivide under edge, that makes sense. Subdivide, okay. So I'm gonna go into wireframe mode and select this vertex here and delete it. Um, and let me go back to solid mode. So now I've got this, um, this here. So I'm gonna press S and scale this down. And so we've got a glove-like, um, kind of back to this. So I'm going to try and make uh, a mitten. So <clears throat> I'm going to extrude this forward. So I just press the E key and scale this on Z. And a little bit on Y. And then we'll extrude again. And scale this up a little bit. And then extrude it forward. Extrude it again and scale in. Okay. So we could load in sort of a reference image for a hand, um, but when we do that, oh, we're missing our reference image, so we'll just turn that off. Um, there is no hand, I don't think, in the, the original reference image. So what we want to do is add in um, from the top here, 
want to add in a thumb. So because this is the left hand, the thumb is going to be moving forward here. So we'll take this here. I just pressed um, Alt. So I'm going to bring this forward a bit, scale it up. So the thumb in my mitten is going to come from there. We'll extrude out this whole section first, and we'll press S for scale, and we'll rotate it a little bit, and then press G, and then scale again on X. And yeah, that's all good. And scale a little bit on Z, and then we'll extrude it again, and rotate it in G, and scale it on Y. And extrude it one more time. And rotate a little bit. And then we'll take those and go G, bring it back a little bit. And try and make it slightly more organic looking. the same here so we'll take three of them and move them forward a little bit and move that one forward a little bit now um, so this is far from a you know work of art here you know when we compare the amount of you know it's not perfect face but the amount of detail here compared to what's here this is like ridiculous but um, as I said, we're going to be 3D printing, so there's not a lot we can really do with hands. Um, so we'll scale this on Z a little bit, and then move it up. Just to kind of give the idea that there's maybe fingers in here that can bend. And, oops, all day. And scale on Z, and rotate that a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take this and we'll scale that on Z a little bit. And then take these here, scale them on Y just to make it a little rounder. And this, just in general, this is a bit boxy. So we'll take those three and move them on Y. And those two there. Do the same on this side here. So we'll take those guys there and go G Y. This is a little bit more kind of organic looking. And move that up a little bit and move that up a little bit as well. Okay. So. Um, So when we apply the subsurface modifier to this, it will definitely make a big difference to how sort of organic looking um, the model is. So we don't want to worry or fret too much about notions of uh, how rounded the individual sort of parts or components are um, for the mitten. So I'm just going to look around and see where what could do it? Um, a little movement. Okay. And okay. So nearly there. So now, uh, as before, what we're going to do is, um, if uh, we remember here, we had uh, fourteen vertices. So when I look here at the glove and I select the end here, I've only got eight. So I need some more. Um, so if I loop cut here and here, I've added in another four. Oops, so I'm going to press um, scale on Z here. And just to make it slightly more organic looking. So it's going to rise to it. So now I've got 12, so I need two more so that I have a, an, an even joining. Um, 
So I need to do one more cut, one more loop cut. And I think the most logical place for that is probably there. And we'll just scale that slightly on Y. Okay. Now I'm going to select this end here and press X and delete those vertices. And now I'm going to take this and as before, with this selected first, then hold down the shift key and right click on the body. I'm going to press control J. And now what we've got is two hands. And you know, we can probably make the hand a little bit longer and we're going to join these together. So we're going to wireframe and Alt A to deselect. It's going to make this slightly longer. Everything with the right loop. There we go. Let's move that back a little bit. <coughs> so a loop select here, so I've got 14. Loop select here. And then we go edge, bridge edge loop. So that's kind of quite neatly joined on. We go back to solid mode. And oops. And then from here I can go G and move this back. And then I'm going to go Control or for another loop cut here to kind of bring a more definition to the edge of this so it does look like a glove. Now this is a bit too wide so I'm going to scale this a little bit so it's not so pronounced. Uh, and then I'm going to select everything and go Mesh. Um, So it's face, is it? Yeah, shade smooth. And then we've got rid of the, the sort of the individual um, uh, faces that we could see. So let's have a quick look on this side here. So it doesn't exactly look proportional. Maybe this arm is a bit wide in, in this place here. So maybe we could take this here and scale it back a little bit. And yeah. That's not so bad there. Okay, and then the last thing we'll do in this tutorial uh, is we're just going to join this last object here, these two together. So, um, in order to do that, obviously this has a mirror modifier on it, as does the one below. So this has 12, and if I select here, this also has 12. Um, so perfect fit. Um, I'm going to try and um, scale these down a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go press S Z 0 so I've scaled on Z to 0 so basically I've flattened it out um, and then I'm going to press OR and then G and what I'm trying to avoid here is a situation where I'll have a seam so Let's see if we can get them to join. So again, uh, I'm going to press the head first, and then the body, and go Control J. And we can see that we've had uh, an issue there with uh, the mirror modifier. So let's go Control Z and undo that, and see why that would be the case. Um, It's to do with the location of um, the center of this object and the center of this object, its origin. So I'm going to go uh, Shift S, so cursor to selection. I'm going to take this and go Shift S and then selection to cursor. So these are both now in exactly the same um, point on the x axis. I'm going to go GZ and just move this back up into position. But what will have happened there, if there was any deviation left or right, then it will have been fixed. And I can go GY and move this forward. And then I'm going to join uh, the two of these together. Control J. And now I haven't had uh, any terrible things happen. So now, there are a couple of ways I can join these. The easiest way for me to do this 
is to actually delete this set of vertices. I could try and merge all these together. I'm just going to delete them and then take that line there and that line there and go edge, bridge, edge loop. And, you know, I'll find I probably need to move this in a little bit. And again, I probably need to tweak it. Yeah, let's like scale it on Y. And, but we're not going to worry about it too much. So, and uh, the only thing that we have left to do here, if we wanted to print this, is uh, this here has um, is a, a large hole. So I'm going to extrude, and then press S. Um, actually, I'm going to turn off my uh, proportional editing. So make this a bit smaller, and B e and scale, and then I'm going to fill this in. So I'll put a face here, 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 and we're left with one triangle, which we will not fight with. And um, we can come back and add in more detail here. We can add in like sort of bring this down as if it's sort of like a uh, like an eyebrow and get more definition into the eye uh, when we come back and, and work on this with more detail okay so um, we have now got a completed mesh um, far from perfect but uh, a good place this is our new starting point